are going live. Going live, going live, going live. Connecting. And it says we're live, but we have no picture. Oh, there we go. Now we get a picture. We are live. Okay. All right. We are live. Good morning, friends. How is everyone today? I hope you are all well. Right Art says, can you be my grandpa? <laughs> Drayden's World says, yes, a big painting. Hello. My first in years. Yeah, a really long time. Um, oh, Nixie is here and says, hey, howdy, hey. Good morning, hey. friend. Hi, love the content. Oh, thank you. Um, Hadley says hello. Salute says hi. Jasmine says hi. Um, 1BR4 says, oh, that was the love of the content. Um, Reed Law says hi. Zane Draw says howdy. Hello. She says hello. Daniel says hello, everyone. PS says hi. Georgina says hi. Local says hi. It's Chris that says hello. Frago says I'm so early. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we have a Bethany Primrose. Greetings from Missouri. Hello. How are you both? Oh, that's Do Stuff Girl. Hi. How are you doing? Um, we are good this morning. We are we are off and running. Marguerite is here. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Um, Ultra Instinct is here. Hello. Jay says hello from Scotland. Hello. Um, hello from Cheeseland, Wisconsin. Hello from Indonesia. Look at all of you today. How is everybody? Rebecca says hello. My first time on your live. Welcome. Patches says currently laying in bed cuddling with a cat. You are lucky. Hey, Brazen Spirituality says good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning from Wisconsin. My favorite. Hi, my favorite red panda and cheetah. Love from Cookville. Uh, hello, neighbor. <laughs> Lots of good mornings. Hi from Mississippi. Hello from Japan. Hello. Good. Lots and lots of good mornings. Greetings from Indonesia. Scott, your voice sounds different. LOL. Oh, um, I, it might be just because I'm on the other side of this. Does it sound any better over here? I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm on the very, very left side. So I'm on the left side of this. Oh, Blick is here this morning. Hey, good, good morning, morning. Blick. How are you doing, Blick? Good morning from Miami. Good morning from Utah, New Mexico, Missouri. Wow. Oh, Eric is here. It says, good morning, everyone, and big hugs to Donna and Scott. How you doing, Hi, Erica? Erica? What you working on? You working on anything fun? Hi, from Miami, Florida. I bet you're having some beautiful uh, weather today. The two skulls look so good. Oh, thank you. Good morning, and can I just say this drawing is gorgeous? That's Hudson. Thank you very much. It's kind of growing on me. Hello it's... from Greece. So I'm trying to do the back of the shelf <laughs> gail's here hi gail hello from texas michigan That's england cool. romania there we go. you guys are from everywhere today hi from china hello all right now i've got a map first time frago is watching your live hello first time frago <laughs> hi from utah Emma's here and says, good afternoon. Hello, lovey. Hope you have a nice cup of tea with you. Hello. Good evening from India. And that drawing is beautiful. Hello from uh, Asia. Love your art. Thank you. So here's the interesting thing. Um, I didn't have cold press watercolor paper. So I'm actually using hot press watercolor paper. Um, it's 14 inches by 20 inches. It's um, a big boy. Yeah, which is, is, you know, it's not like six feet by five feet or anything like that, but... Um, That's okay. Your next one can yeah. be... Yeah, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's going to be... I, I, I figure because the... Um, you see it okay? Yeah, we can see it fine. I figure because mm -hmm. it's it's uh, the detail is so small, I don't, I'm not really going to be too concerned about how the watercolor reacts to it because... Um, Watercolor kind of looks better, in my opinion, on cold press paper because that has so much texture to it. But the inking is really, really fun on hot press paper. So let's see what happens. We have a lot of friends that are here in our first live today. Oh, Steph Nerd thank is you. two fisting it with uh, tea and coffee. 
We have a nine-year-old here. Paul says, I'm nine years old and you inspire me. Love you. Oh, thank you. Dev says, you're the reason I started watercolors and I love your videos. Oh, thank you very much. Um, love from Greece. Love from Germany. Watercolor Wednesday and Scott is painting. Scott is doing inking right now. He's doing the inks. And so I see. think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to finish this. And then I'm going to scan it so all of you could have it to color it in. So we can all color it in as we see fit. And I'm sure you guys are going to do a much better job than I am. Because I get one shot at it with watercolors and I know a lot of you can do it digitally. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Abner says, hey, when Scott woke up, did he cause chaos or calm? Um, Scott was fine this morning. Scott was fine this morning. Donna's already had a morning, but Scott was fine this morning. <laughs> Oh, God. So, what is the meaning of this drawing? Oh, there's no meaning. Uh, we had done a bunch of um, thumbnails. Give me one mm -hmm. second. Hey, Ryan's here and says, good morning from British Columbia, Canada. I'm trying to do like an old timey map. You know, um, let's see, this would be north. Can I do it upside down? Uh, how does it end go? From bottom up, north, uh, east would be to the right. No, yeah, yeah. There you go. That's west. West and south. And south. You're funny. I did it upside down. Yay! Um, is that a cow head in the background? Uh, this one is. I don't know. I would think it's like maybe a dog or. A wolf or something smaller you know fox. um so we were doing thumbnails is that pen closed yeah okay and um so let me see if i could find the the photo reference good morning from atlanta rainy morning here good morning these books must have taken years hello from australia hi from egypt so, Philippines. so this is the photo reference um and uh, we just took the photo reference and we we're just doing thumbnails. So I just took the same photo reference and gave it different compositions. And we did that for different photo references. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing. And so I kind of like this one. And so I'm going to have just like a strip of light. And so all of this stuff is going to be in shadow, but I'll still color it normally and then just go over it with some purple. Um, how do you think of all the details for the background? Does anything particular inspire you? Um, what I did was, as you saw the thumbnail, that was my idea out of my head. And then what I did was I went and I looked up pictures of old books. And so I... Come on. You guys see all that? Yep. Okay. We can. So I just looked at stuff like this. There's mm -hmm. the skull right there. I just drew that. It's kind of an amalgamation of a lot of things. Yeah. And so I'm just looking at all of this and, and going, okay, I'm going to draw this book. I'm going to draw this book. I'm going to draw this book. Oh, these are slanted or these ones have this and these have bookmarks in it. So this one has a bookmark. And so I just get my ideas from that. You can see this one's got like some writing here. So you'll see some writing here and there. Um, this one's kind of got like a, looks like a felt kind of cover. So I think that one's over here. Um, you know, a lot of these have these like, um, I don't know, these, these uh, embossed like spines. So you see a lot of that uh, here and there. Um, and so that's really all I'm doing is I'm just, See, I got these with the numbers on them. You can see some of them here. So that's all. I'm just, I'm, I'm referencing uh, books um, that I see in the, um, in, you know, in, in the reference. Okay, I'm going to go through this really quick because there's a lot of comments in here. Um, there's people from everywhere. Hello, I mean, everywhere. It's crazy. Eric is getting ready for vacation, but bringing her art to create at her parents' house. Yay! I mean, seriously, they are from everywhere today. Egypt, Argentina, Poland, Kansas, Malaysia, Slovenia, Philippines. You guys are from everywhere today. 
um, professional procrastinator is back. Hasn't been able to watch us for a long time. Um, gosh, Venezuela, South Korea. Um, today's tea is the, Scott's not having tea this morning, um, but it is the uh, Knightsbridge blend from Harrods. Okay, and so Scott is using, he went, um, used a pencil to do the art, and now he is using a zebra brush pen to do the inking. Yes. And that is Arches 14 by 20 inch paper. Uh, um, hot press paper. Hot press paper. Hollis just watched Animal Crackers and loved it. Oh, thank you. Who's your favorite Lord of the Rings character? Um, probably Gimli. Um, Scott uses um, Prismacolor colored pencils. Those are the color pencils. Um, Scott never thinks his art is perfect, ever. Yeah. He just doesn't. I don't think there's a such thing as perfect art, but if there is, it's usually somebody else's. Um, Allison, yes, this will be posted later as a live. It'll be under the live playlist. Yeah, you can watch it. If you guys can't stick around, mm -hmm. you can always watch it later. Yep. Sam does art. Um, did you see Sam does art's response to your Yes, short? Um, he had, uh, I, res I did a live, uh, if you go to his uh, video, um, I did a live um, commenting as I was watching it. Uh, so you can see my, my thoughts as I was watching it. And then also he sent me the uh, drawing of both regular Disney Princess Me and Buff Me. Oh, he did? Yes, and oh. I posted it, and I posted it in the community section. Nice. I haven't been in the community section in a couple of days. Um, agreeing with a previous comment that you are the reason I started watercolor and colored pencils. Oh, thank you. And Marie is here. Yay. And says, I'm deep into grading and I'm so glad I have you find folks as a distraction slash body oh. double. We are happy to be here for it. Love. We are happy to be here. So one thing I am being very conscious about is, um, I am not stressing about, uh, my lines being perfect. Um, or the other thing I'm doing, so if, if you notice, like my lines are very loose. Organic. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, these just kind of just bow out. And I think that gives it more of an old book feel because it's not perfect, like cookie cutter. Um, the other thing I'm doing, which I don't know if it's going to be a good decision or bad decision, but I've given literally no perspective. Like normally if I was standing five feet from this, you would see the insides of these books and these books. So it would look like Come on, give me a no, Spike says I just filled up a sketchbook with almost no failed drawings. Oh, that's fantastic. So these books over here you would see that, right? Yep. And then these books over here, you would see this. That's perspective. And then the ones that are straight on would look like this. But what I did was I did all of them straight on, no matter what. And uh, I did it for the main reason why I did it was I thought this would might make a really good puzzle. And if you can see the perspective on them, it would make it easier to, to find the pieces. Oh, is that and why so you I did thought, it? I thought, nope, I'm going to make them all the same. So basically, the way you would get this effect is if you were like 100 feet back and looking at it, there would be no perspective because it would be you'd be looking at a very narrow kind of uh, perspective. Mm, yeah. So this is kind of like as if you were from a distance looking in, you would kind of get that. So I'm cheating a little bit. Um, and the only way I'm getting a little bit of perspective is I'm giving less of the top of the bookshelf uh, up here and a little bit more down here, but it's very slight. So the way that I've been doing this is I'm just kind of getting, I'm inking the shapes, no details really. And then I come back in with the, all the little details later. Okay. Blake says, skulls make the best bookends. All the alchemists say so. Yeah. That is very true. That is a very true statement. 
Um, <laughs> let's see. Um, can I use your art as a reference? Absolutely. Copy it, whatever. Would you ever do a live stream with Sam? Yes, I talked to him about it, um, and he's definitely interested. So I just got to see what his schedule would be like, what my schedule would be like, and um, you know, maybe we'll do like what what I do with Kim, and we just talk and draw. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, that would be a fun thing to do. Okay, um, let's see. I'm surprised she doesn't have crazy long hair. Yeah, I thought about it. Um, a lot of the questions the mods are answering. So I like old books, um, for sure. Do you like old books? I like to look at them. I don't think I would ever read one. I would read them. They smell delicious. Um, there is a t um, there's a video on Art Block, um, de Bujando. So check the Art Hacks playlist. There's a video on Art Block there. Did you already have a color palette in mind for this piece, or are you making it up as you go along? Making it up as I go along. Um, I, I only use 12 colors, so like I'm in my head. Um, I, I have already, I'm like, okay, the, the, you know, the inside wall, I'm gonna use this color, this reddish, darkish red color. Mm -hmm. um, but I think I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna play with saturation, so the background will be less saturated i'm not really going to go full saturation and then i'm going to make sure she's got like i might use the doc martin's um concentrated watercolors to give her that really red so she's going to be very saturated um so i i think there, I, i'm going to have to pop her uh, away i'm going to have to pull her away from the background <clears throat> and so to do that i can i could either do it with thinner lines which i unfortunately didn't do um, I, I did these and I went, ugh, it was too, it was too thick. And so um, I had to kind of finish it that way. But uh, I think uh, you can either do it with line work or you mm -hmm. can do it with color. Richard's here and says good morning. Hey, Richard. How you doing, Richard? What you up to in painting? Oh, Lynx Eye says, I'm thinking of you and Arwen as my little dog passed last night. Listening to you is oh. such a pick-me-up. I'm I am sorry. so sorry. Oh, We're it is We're sending you big hugs. So, so many hugs. That is the worst. Um, Henry says, my coffee is slowly bringing the life back into me. Frito says, do you guys play any video games? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I do. Donna doesn't. But, uh, I don't. I just don't enjoy them. That's it's okay. Thing. I still love you. I know. Uh, I'm playing, currently playing through the, the new Zelda. Mm-hmm. Um, Scott, is there a white paint that has a strong pigment? The last time I used my white paint, I um, it took 37 layers to finally cover up a background. Oh, gosh. Um, if you just want white and you're not going to paint over it again, you can go with gouache. But if you need to paint over it, I would go with an acrylic gouache. Un unless you want something a little bit more glossy, in which case you can do acrylics. But if you're sticking with like a matte non-shiny texture um i would uh stay with uh the the gouache or acrylic gouache <laughs> lula that's so funny lula says oh look scott's done a portrait of me breezing past my to be read collection yeah. as i head to the bookstore the likeness is uncanny sir <laughs> oh gosh except he forgot the teacup in hand darn it that's so funny. Oh my God, that's hysterical. My to be red pile. Oh, so. That's what it feels like. It feels like the to be red pile. Um, Blick says, one thing we have noticed and admired about Scott's line drawings is the overlaps are so clearly articulated. Even along a simple contour, it's very clear when one mass or form overlaps another. Oh, thank you. Um, what pen are you using right now for the inking, honey? Zebra brush pen. Yay! I found that... A second line makes all the difference. It's really weird. Like if, if you were to draw even just the edge of a piece of paper like that, if you just add a slight little second line, it gives it just a sense of thickness. You know, even a piece of paper has some thickness to it. And um, 
I just found that that sometimes just really makes a difference. But also I like to just vary the line weight, which gives it a sense of realism. Okay, so time for my favorite part, which is the hatching. I don't know why you like that so much. It's crazy. Um, is this on the screen? Is this okay. Um, yeah, your hand's kind of in the way a little bit, but that's okay. Oh, please tell me you're not using that 005. I am. Ah, oh, I hate that pen. Why? Because it's so tiny, you can't see the end of it. Okay. Keep in mind, you're speaking to the woman who writes with a 1.1 millimeter nib on her fountain pen. Okay. I like the big wide lines and the big wide, yeah. Um, I thought you said there was no cheating in art. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, let's see. Um, let's see. Books are the best background, says Jennifer. Um, Frito is studying for um, finals right now. Yay. Do good, do good. Um, please tell me how you can make the skull head. I just looked at a photo. Yeah. Um, can you do another challenge with the fabric castle pencils? I got new ones and I'm not sure how to make them look as good as yours. Oh, um, I don't think I'm going to, I, I already got rid of them. I donated them. Um, dinosaur says I'm starting journaling as I found some scrapbook paper and tried book binding. It turned out great. So I made a cover with an Alice in Wonderland pattern and it feels nicer as I made it myself. That's exciting. That's fantastic. I love that. That's been fantastic. Um, I'm drawing a cat right now. Any advice from the live chat? That's cute. Um, the paper is 14 inches by 20 inches. Yeah, so in comparison, um, this is... Oh, hold on. What? Nothing. I'm telling everybody to hold on while he grabs things. Oh, okay. This is the size of the, uh, the, the Music Monday sketchbook is that an 8 by 10 an or a 9 by 12 i think it's 9 by 12 okay but you can kind of get an idea for that um this is the size of my travel journal which is eight by five and five five, five, five and a half by eight and a half, half. half. Mm -hmm. so you guys can get an idea it is it is larger it's not like a huge piece it's not like what bethany paints you know well, not um, everybody can paint like six feet tall and yeah, have yeah. to move the canvas to the side to actually paint. So not everyone's that good. I find it funny that she paints larger than me, but she, <laughs> <laughs> she's, tiny little she's, she's paints so these much things. smaller than me, you know. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Um, Bethany is uh, a pocket size and... Uh, paints uh these we call giant, it fun size fun size that's right she's fun size and uh she paints these giant paintings that are bigger than her it cracks me up um <laughs> lula that was just so funny um do you have a favorite color palette like colors you lean towards more yes i've got like 12 colors that i use and and, and i put them on my uh, site uh they're, they're Windsor and Newton, and you can pick them up at Blick. Mm, Wendy S. just finished their first watercolor and posted it on Discord, but Deviant oh, Art wouldn't let me post it without permission. Um, really? They permission would really, from who? I don't know. They would really love for you to see it. Oh, yeah. Um, we'll go you, on the Discord today. Just tag me so I can see it. I have an old copy of Jane Eyre that's so beautiful, but I'm scared to damage it by reading it. Oh, don't be afraid to read an old book. Just, um... I got Donna an old version of... Oh, uh, of Pride and Pride Prejudice. Prejudice. Yeah, and it's it's lovely to read an old book. Just okay, hold it Okay, that gently. said, she's never read it. I have. You've sat and read it from cover to cover. You've opened it up and read a couple pages. I've opened it up and read a couple pages. That's what I'm saying. Cover there's, to cover. There's a, I, there's you a know big what? difference. Challenge accepted. I will read the old book for Jane Austen July, which, by the way, brings me to the next point of uh, next month is Jane Austen July. We will be doing the, um, Steph Nerd and I are doing the uh, Jane Austen July reading challenge. It's lovely. If you haven't heard of it, go on YouTube and Google it. It's also on Goodreads. So have any of you ever done cross hatching like this? I just find it really fun. 
it looks tedious but you seem to like it for some strange reason. It's it's it, the <laughs> it's a little frustrating you're like, "Oh, I've already done this angle. Oh, how do I do this angle?" you know, that kind of thing and cuz you want it to look good like this I think is good. It's this way, this way, this way, this way. It kind of looks good, but sometimes it gets chaotic and you have like five <clears> different <throat> directions. I like it when it's just two directions. Um, Scott's going to tell you the best pen to use for inking is the zebra brush pen. So you might have to try a bunch of pens if you don't like the zebra brush pens. Um, you might have to try some other things. Try the Sigma, um, the, um, Sakura Pigma pens. Try those. You might like those. Those might be a good thing for you to try. Frito says, what do you think I should do as my summer art project? A mural, fabric art, fill a sketchbook? I think fill a sketchbook. I think you are going to really appreciate being able to look back on the events of the, the summer. I started um, like an art journal kind of book. And it's actually, not, it's a total departure from what I normally do. It has no writing in it whatsoever. But it's a total departure from what I normally do. And I really like it. Um, I can show you guys if you want to see it. How do you draw hair so good? Oh, practice. Reagan, draw a red panda. The answer to anything to draw is always a red panda. Scott, remember when I asked if I should buy the $99 paints? If you did, I chose just Windsor Orange Rose Matter and Burnt Umber for skin and got them for $15. Oh, that's great. That's a great boy. You got a bargain. Um, Scott does not critique work for other people. Yeah, I'm not. I'm never going to tell you that your work needs improvement yeah. or, or things like that. No, I, I, I'm not that kind of person. Hadley says, oh, I really want to learn how to knit. I crochet, so it's very confused. You know what? I can knit, but I can't crochet. Crochet is confusing to me. The one needle just throws me. Um, this art is an amalgamation of a bunch of different things. Rabbi says, books are nicer when they're used. They are indeed. <laughs> Santa's here and says, the skull is very spooky sitting on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's no elf on the shelf, but it'll have to do. It's no elf on the shelf. Those things creep me out. I'd rather have a skull on the shelf, and I don't like skulls, than an elf on the shelf. Santa, what is your take on the elf on the shelf? Not that I'm throwing you under the bus here or anything. I'm just curious. 16 more days until Sailor Moon Cosmos comes out in the States. I'm so excited. Is that a new graphic novel, or is it a TV show? Tracy says the cross hatching is kind of meditative. It kind of feels that way, yeah. Shreya says I learned cross hatching from you. Uh, ah, Salud asks, what do you search when you're looking for photo references? Well, in this case, I looked up old books, and then I looked up antiquarian books, and then I looked up um, alchemy bookshelf, uh, things like that. So you kind of it one thing leads to another, but you kind of have to. Um, it's like a guessing game. You know, what will get me that? And then, you know, mm -hmm. you look and you go, oh, I like this picture. What, you know, what descriptions are on that picture? And then you look for more that. And, and so it's, it's you got to play a little bit of detective. <laughs> a starty 66 says, old books love to be held and read, hugged, carried, oogled. I love old hardcover books. You know, hardcovers are like chef's kiss. I love hardcover books. I just love them. When you fall asleep and they hit you in the face, they're heavier than a paperback. I will tell you that. <laughs> um, been there, done that. But I'm just saying, you know. So I started this on Friday. Is that when you started it? Yeah. So I worked on it Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, I didn't get a chance to work on it Monday, but I worked on it yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're actually really enjoying it, which is, makes me very happy because you haven't enjoyed a piece in a long time. So this is great. I'm happy about that. 
Um, you know what? I haven't actually read any Agatha Christie books, but I think I'd really like them. I think I'd like the mysteries. I've seen a couple of the movies. <laughs> Stefanard says, yes, we are. I think I have my TBR finalized. I have my TBR finalized. I just have to get my Jane Austen journal ready to go. Max likes dinos. I just started reading Pride and Prejudice. It's not what I usually read, but I thought I'd give it a try. Oh, Max, do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you love it? I'm sure you're going to love it. It's phenomenal. I don't know. They're not dinos. That's true. Um, Psych Trance says, doing things the tedious way is a certified artist thing. <laughs> I have a question and I hope you reply. I trace off proportions for a portrait and then shade myself. Am I not considered an artist? Am I wrong? <laughs> you are 100% considered an artist. Tracing is is part of making art. Yeah. Um, there's, 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 you are just a smart artist. Don't ever let anybody tell you that tracing is cheating. It's insane how you have the patience to do cross hatching. <laughs> because of you, I got back into watercolor and oh, I draw great. wings of fire characters. I always cross hatch on my schoolwork when I'm bored in class and it has taken over my homework. Yeah. Microns are good. I currently use Faber Castell pens. Um, Link says, I have recently started a YouTube channel for my art. Do you have any tips? Uh, if, if you like want to make uh, a go of having your own channel, post every day. So find something that you like because you're going to get bored of it after a while. So find something that you can do a lot of. Um, Donna, have you done a tea journal? I do have a tea journal. Um, and um, I love it. I write down the teas that I try, the teas that I like the teas that I don't like, um, all sorts of fun things in there. I started it because I had a tea advent calendar and that got me thinking. Show us please. Oh, you wanna see my, um, the art journal I tried? I'm telling you it is nothing like Scott's stuff. It's actually um, a total departure from what I normally do, but I will show you if you want to see it. This is my first live stream. Well, welcome. My TBR is only 34 books right now. I got to get those rookie numbers up. No, no, no. Never say that about yourself. You have a TBR and that's fun. Even if you have one book you want to read, that's a TBR. You guys have to not be so hard on yourselves, you know? Not be so hard on yourselves. Oh, Santa replied, the scout elves serve an important purpose, but for clarification, we are not spying to find bad behavior. It is all about spotting and rewarding the good behavior. Oh, Santa, I love that. You know, that I think is really important. I don't think enough people um, are focused on good behavior. Everybody's quick to point out bad behavior, but not everybody points out good behavior. And that's important. We, they did something at the boys' elementary school where they, it was a gotcha and they would... Um, oh yeah, caught somebody doing yeah, something Yeah, I caught good. them yeah. being good. That's what it was. I caught them being good. And yeah, Brennan came home so excited he got a yeah. It was a sticker or something. Yeah, like that. yeah. Got I got caught. it was like I got caught being good or something. Yeah, it was and then they wrote out. on the sticker what they did that was good. It was like a big circle and in the middle they had a place to write. And I just thought that was so cool, you know. And he was so proud of himself when he came yeah. home with his sticker. You know, it was just cute. You know. Um. Okay. Blick says, we see a map peeking out. Is this a mysterious character taking a trip soon? <laughs> Maybe it's a treasure map. So I was trying to think of a fun Easter egg for something for the eyes, right? <laughs> and I was like, something to do with eyes, something to do with see you or, yeah. you know, like, like um, the musician Sia, you know, uh, S-I-A. You know, I was like, that would be funny, but I don't, you know, really listen to her much. But like, I'm like, you know, should it be Hall & Oates, Private Eyes kind of thing? Oh. Or should, like, what would be something? That's cool. But I haven't really come up with anything that would be. 
Nixia says, a TBR should never be finalized. Take that back. <laughs> I have to agree with you. Hudson says, I have almost 70 books on my TBR. I think I have over 100 books on my TBR. You have over 100 books on your nightstand. Shh. Don't you dare rat me out. How dare you? I have 143 books on my TBR. <laughs> Hundred and forty-three. <laughs> oh gosh, that's funny. Oh geez, Louise. Yes, let me remind all of you about the art supply giveaway. So we're doing the art supply giveaway finally. Donna has a, been able to uh, rope Bethany into helping me get all this ready to go. So we have uh, twenty art packages. And you can go onto the website to ssavaart.com and the giveaway is, link is on the front page. And we would love for it to go to people who um, need and can't afford art supplies. So if you know somebody who needs art supplies or you need art supplies, we're shipping worldwide. We're not asking anything, no money, no anything. Um, and um, go ahead and sign up. Um, and we're going to be sending those out. Do you have any tips on trying new art styles? Yeah, find an artist that you like. Copy them. Don't, you know, don't just say, I'm going to invent a new art style. Um, artists learn by copying the artists that they like. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what you do. All right, let's get the... Okay, Scott's using um, a zebra brush pen. That is the pen he's using. The pencil that he uses is a Faber-Castell 4H pencil. You will find all of his art supplies on his art supply list. And that is on our website. There's a video on how to draw noses and eyes and all sorts of different um, facial features and things like that in the Art Hacks playlist also. Um, Scott, in my local store, there's a whole wall of Windsor & Newton supplies. Hint, hint for the future. That's Oh, that's Mark. Hi, Mark. Hey, Mark. Um, Ruchi is going to Italy next month and will bring my watercolors. You inspired me to try to paint on my travels. Oh, fantastic. I'm shy with people, but I want to try to paint in public so much. I think you're going to have a great time. It's fun to paint out somewhere, sitting on a bench in a beautiful Italian city. And, you know, it's it's fun to do that. The good thing is, is that if people are talking to you, you can't understand what they're saying anyhow. So Would you stop? <sighs> Yes, Scott will be uploading this as a coloring page. Blick says, we like our skull. It's where we keep our marbles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Baby Black is learning to crochet as they are watching this. And it's hard, but it's really fun to watch. Well, if you have any questions, Nixia is fabulous at crochet. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. We have such talented people with us here. Everybody's got so much talent. Will it be watercolor or gouache? Watercolor. Gouache will just cover up the inks. So mm -hmm. you need something transparent. And um, What's so. your favorite book? Uh, the Hobbit. Mm. Mine is Pride and Prejudice. All right. Let me... Have you drawn any of the Breakfast Club characters? I have not. How do you feel about anime? Um, I think it's fine. I think it's fun. I used to watch some of it back in the 90s. What do you search when you're looking for your poses for your characters? Oop, some of that ink picked up. Uh-oh. Be careful. I think it came off the side, maybe. Oh. Um, what do I search when I'm looking for poses? Mm -hmm. I don't usually search for poses. I just... Um, and I don't usually search for reference, uh, but I, I'm usually just find reference that inspires me. But if I'm looking for something in particular, like say someone says, hey, um, I need you to paint a pirate or something like that, then I'd be looking specifically for a pirate. But um, if if something is very pose specific, mm -hmm. it's it's usually easier to, to just get someone to literally dress up and pose for you. 
Gee, you think? Been there, See, done that. that. It's, it's not smudged too. I wonder why it's smudging. That's not good. Yeah. There's another one. Scott ratted you out. You guys are so funny. I have too many and not enough books on my TBR. That is cor a correct statement from Lamplight. We got one, two, I don't think the comments today are random. Um, I think the comments are pretty much spot on the usual for what they are. Um, what books are you currently reading, Don? I'm in a reading slump and I need some inspiration. Um, okay, so I've got a couple that I haven't started yet. I'm doing a, um, well, I'm doing Jane Austen July next month. So I've got a whole bunch of books that I'm doing for Jane Austen July. But I'm going to start the Museum of Ordinary People. That is a brand new one. Um, and I want to read the Paris Library. And um, then I've got um, a new one coming out. It's called The Newlyweds Guide to Fortune and Murder. That is um, Diane Freeman. That's the Countess of Harley mystery. That's coming. That's book six in the series there. Um, and um, there's just a whole bunch of books that I would like to try. A whole bunch of new ones. So um, I can put a list on my community page if you guys want. Um, oh, I'm also reading um, Off the Clock from uh, Laura Vanderkam. She's doing a book club this summer where she's doing some discussions um, about the books that she's written. And um, Off the Clock is a really, it's a productivity type of book. So I've got one nonfiction and one fiction going at the same time. And I read the nonfiction during the day. And I like to read fiction at night before I go to bed because it helps me sleep. Oh, I got inspired by Donna and made a journal. Yay. Um, do I have any recommendations for iced tea in this hot weather? Yes. The non-alcoholic type. Um, personally, I... Um, I like to brew the um, Berry's Irish breakfast tea, the decaf one. Um, I like to brew that and then chill it for iced tea. And I put about three or four bags in um, and I just brew that. And I put it over ice and it's great. I don't like to put sugar in it. Scott will put sugar in his. Um, um, Animal Crackers streams on Netflix. And I am very behind on the chat because you guys are very chatty today. So, um, go back to live so that way. No, I'm not going back to live. Oh, I am on live. I, I've always been on live. Um, do you have any watercolor paint and paper for beginners? Um, well, we had, I had done a, a, a test of this one from Mia that was $20 and you get everything. It's um, not available. But it's not though. available. Yeah. They sold out of it, and I don't know if they're ever going to come back with it. They haven't said that they're bringing it back, which is really a bummer. Yeah. They do have another um, another one that doesn't come with uh, everything in it. But um, the, if you go through my um, art supply list and my art my my products I've tested list, there's a on our website. You'll see you can kind of pick and choose. I've tried a bunch of different stuff. Um, any suggested teas for people new to the tea world? Hmm. Tetley. No. <laughs> Why don't you just say Lipton? Good God. Mm -hmm. Um, let me think about that. Are you looking for teas you can buy in a store or are you looking for teas that you buy online like what are you looking for is you want a beginner tea you want something a little more advanced tell me give me a little parameters on that because there are some good um there's um i'm trying to remember the name of it is it misty leaf tea um that's a really good one um you can find that at a whole foods um i'm gonna give a little bit of a shadow here underneath the map it is, is it okay if I draw what you're drawing right now? Please. Um, let's see. Do you have any tips on portraits? Check the Art Hacks playlist. There's a lot of good videos there. 
Um, Santa says, I may be coming to Nashville to film a music video this summer. Whoa. Wow. We look forward to seeing you again. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to recommend. So Lula um, here in the chat, Lula and Meow is in the chat and she's got a tea shop. So um, I'm going to recommend that you check out Lula's teas because I have had her Scottish breakfast tea, which reminds me I need some more tea, some Scottish breakfast. I, well, I think what they're saying is, is that if they're new to tea, what do you recommend to try? So if you were going to Lula's shop, what would you recommend? What's your favorite tea from there? The Scottish breakfast tea. There you go. So that's what you... So now you go to the microphone and you say, I would recommend... A I would recommend the Scottish breakfast tea from Lula's shop. That's there what I would There you recommend. go. And that, my friend, is how you answer a question. Sorry. I'm tired. <laughs> I don't see you commuting in the morning. Zip it. Um, what is my favorite book I have read? Hmm. Well, obviously, Pride and Prejudice um, and Northanger Abbey from Jane Austen are my favorite books. Contemporary books that I've read um, was last summer's um, The Cartographers. That one still swims around in my head from time to time. That was a great book. It's uh, Peng Shepherd, and it's called The Cartographers. That was a great book. It's out in paperback now. Um, I have the hardcover, but it's out in paperback. Um, I hate drawing color. I always feel as if it ruins my black and white drawings. I'm just bad at putting down color, but good at shading. I feel as if color would really advance my art. What do I do? Um, you can, you have a drawing you like, um, you can always trace it, project it or whatever onto, uh, your, your watercolor paper, whatever you're going to be coloring on. Um, so in other words, I mean, if, you, if you're using stuff like markers or colored pencils, you can always just make a, make a photocopy and just, you know, do that. Uh, but honestly, don't be afraid. You're gonna, you're, you gotta do it to get better at it. The other thing you can always try is um, scanning it in and trying it digitally. Dalton says, have you ever seen Knives Out? We have. Yeah, it was Good movie. We didn't really... I think the sequel wasn't as good, but... Um, um, Ellen just finished Babel by R.F. Kuang. Darker than I was expecting, but very good. Five stars for me. That sounds good. I love The Hobbit. I picked it up, the illustrated version, a few years back. Will you guys watch newer cartoons like The Owl House sometime? We tried the first episode, and it was pretty good. We just never got around to the second episode. Also, like uh, Wednesday, we never got around to those either. Yeah. Valerie asks, how do you cut out time on vacation to sit down and paint with others on vacation with you? Um, I take photos and um, it depends on the vacation. But like when we went to mm -hmm. Disney World, I went specifically to just sit. We didn't have the kids this time for the first time in 20 years. And we went and mm -hmm. we just sat and sketched. But other times you're just going from one thing to another thing to another thing. You don't have time. And I might just do a quick little, you know, five minute sketch, take a photo, mm -hmm. and then move on. And then I'll finish it in the hotel room. Mm -hmm. Now, keep in mind, it is much easier for Scott to sketch now because we don't necessarily have the kids with us every time we're going somewhere. And if even if we do, they're old enough to go and do stuff on their own and we can go back and we can sit longer and we can do whatever. Yeah. So we're in a different phase of life now, which is actually kind of cool, I might add. Um but there's always a way to make it to make it work. But it's it's difficult. Like if you're visiting a place for the first time, um yeah. you 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 don't want to just sit and yeah. spend an hour in one spot. When you have like, I've only got eight hours or 10 hours and right. I've got to get all this stuff done. Right. But like when we went to Venice, that was specifically for a painting thing. So we mm -hmm. sat there for a couple hours yeah. and we were, you know, well, painting with so, other people. Even so, you had to get up and go help other people yeah, yeah. with their But paintings. I also, you know, my my sketchbook, I, you know, like of the one, I'll go get it. So, like, 
this was one of the things that we sketched, mm -hmm. but I still, these were other things I saw later on in the day. Um, we sketched this in the morning and then I sketched these uh, in the hotel room. We sketched this in the morning and I sketched these in the hotel room. Mm -hmm. uh, so this was our, our, our morning and sketch. Some of those until we got home. Yeah, some of these I yeah. even finished when we got home. Yeah. So, you know, uh, again, but, you know, the things that we finished on site was this one and this one, mm -hmm. and you do what you can. But, you know, it, it's, it's, it's no different. Mm -mm. Um, go ahead and show your thing. I'm going to go yeah. get, I'm going to get hungry, so I'm going to go get one of these little bars. Okay. So I will show you this. I don't want to touch his painting, so I'm going to hold this. It might be up a little too, you know what, I'll just move it because I really don't want to mess this up. I don't want to mess this up. Gently, gently, gently. I just don't want to mess that up because that would be bad. Okay, so this is the art journal that I just started. And um, can you see? Okay, here, here's the pages. So it's an art journal olive and it's just a um, craft sketchbook. So I just, Put some stuff in and this is just me pasting stuff in and i kind of tried to layer some stuff here and then i really went crazy with this page there's like some different papers and stuff like that i didn't want to hurt your painting so i moved your painting out of the way um and then this was my page from yesterday there's no writing there's no nothing i scott was saying i should put some writing in here i don't want any writing in here it's not a writing journal it's just a fart around kind of journal and so that's what I did. I just pasted some some stuff in and I'm actually having fun with it. It's like the first time I feel like there's any little bit of like creative stuff that I'm doing. And I have all these pages left. They're all blank. They're just blank craft paper. And so that's what I've been up to. But it's been kind of fun. So I will, uh, I will let you do that. And these are all supplies I've had kicking around so that I just figured eh, we'll pull some stuff out sorry I got a little hungry yeah all of a sudden too I was yeah I just kind of feeling a little weak no that's okay that's good for you to you got to eat can you fill a page with watercolor pencils and use them as normal watercolor palettes and pick the colors from them no no that's not how those work the I mean the minute you add water to it the pencil lines go away so you lose your structure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Um. What do you do when you just don't feel like doing the rest of the page of your travel sketchbook? That is happening to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were doing... Um, we went to... Uh, I didn't finish this page, mm -hmm. this page, this page, this page, this page mm -hmm. for weeks, maybe months. And I was just yeah. not in the mood. Yeah. And then Donna came downstairs mm -hmm. and we slowly just, mm -hmm. I would work at it and, you know. Just kind of pick away at it but yeah leave it leave it for now and then when you have time you can come back to it it's totally yeah. fine i haven't you know? finished my uh travel journal from venice and we went to venice at the end of september beginning of october of last year yeah so you know you, you it, it's okay to not finish i mean yeah you're allowed to just not be in the mood for something at some point you have to just kind of pick away at it mm -hmm. if you want to get it done. Yeah. You can just decide, I'm never going to finish this. And that could be your choice. But there's no rules. There's no laws. You know, you're not you're not going to make anybody upset or, or, or feel bad, you know. Just do it when you're, when you're ready. Okay. Scott is using hot press arches, 100% cotton paper, and it is a 14 by 20 block. 
Letter Lady Z says, I'll miss my kids being little, but I'll also look forward to a time I can more easily do things without them. Yeah. That is a perk. It is a bittersweet perk. When they come home and they're 20 years old and they actually want to spend time with you, that feels pretty awesome too. Um... What's okay? So Scott's favorite sketchbook for watercolor is the Be Creative sketchbook. <clears throat> um, yeah. Have you drawn on an A6 sketchbook? That's really small. He has the the um, sketch wallet sketchbook is an A6 size. This one. Correct. That is an A6 size. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um. Yeah. You know what? Um, live um, listening to audiobooks is great I love that too yeah. and sometimes you don't have um, access to the books that you want I know that um, draw a banana on the cover of my journal you guys are so funny um, is there a drawing software that some of you recommend because the bamboo paper that I use now has no function to change the background <laughs> you guys are funny mm, let's see um, the Windsor and Newton Cotman set. Would you say that's a good beginner uh, watercolor? Oh yeah, yeah, it really is. Anything Windsor and Newton is my favorite. What is the best paper for colored pencils? I personally like Bristol board, mm -hmm. but Blick is yeah. If, if Blick is in the chat, maybe they can uh, offer some other suggestions. But personally, I I've always used Bristol board. Yeah. See, even Ellen says, sometimes I wonder if I'm not finishing my Venice pages because I don't want the trip to end. Mm. Bethany says, I barely even started on my Venice pieces. Yeah. It's just, it, don't be hard on yourself, guys. You know, it's just, um, it just is what it is. Gail, Donna, I love your nail polish. Which brand is it and what is it called? Okay, so this is um, Olive in June. And I will tell you a story, Gail. Yeah, you just opened up Pandora's yep. box. Can of worms, we're going for it. Uh, um, so my nails have been peeling and peeling and peeling for months and months and months. Thank you, Mr. Clock. I'm gonna smack you. <laughs> Mr. Clock's got my back. Really? Really? This is what you're going to say to your wife? Really? <sighs> this is the kind of stuff that I have to live with. Okay. So, doesn't mean I'm going to stop. Um, it is called Frosted Gloss by um, Olive and June. And I put fairy over the top of it. So, it's two, two colors. It's frosted gloss and then fairy on the top. And this stuff is no joke. I bought their nail strengthener and my nails stopped peeling. And it is expensive and you buy it through, um, they're selling it now in Target. Target has it now. Um, I think the nail strengthener is made with spinach. It might be. Good, 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 good. <laughs> so, um, but um, it's great and I love it and my nails stopped peeling. So this for me is a highly recommend. Um, what was your initial reaction to Disney Princess Scott and Buff Scott drawn by Sam? Oh, I thought they were amazing. Um, and you could read my reactions in real time on, on his channel. I, I, I commented in real time. Um, <clears throat> I have a friend who loves art but is always stressed about it being perfect. Any possible advice on how to help them? You tell them that there's no such thing as perfect. There's a video mm -mm. on it. Mm -mm. Yeah. Um, Scott started doing art when he was about six or seven. So he's been drawing for a very I got my long first time. professional gig at, at eight. And, uh, Stop it. My art went up in the Louvre at nine. <laughs> Bethany says, of course, my Venice pieces are measured in square feet. They will take me a while to finish. <laughs> we are going to be live again on Friday. Have you tried the Master's Touch watercolor paper? I have not. <clears throat> um, 
exits here says, good morning, Scott. I wanted to ask if you might have a thought on how in the modern era, how harder is it for artists to have the same popularity or success as artists from the 19th or 20th century? Well, it's a different kind of popularity or success because back then there was no movies, there was no photography, there was, you know, painting, there was theater, mm -hmm. there was, I mean, uh, if you go back early enough, there wasn't even books, you know, like they before the before the printing press. So it just depends. Well, the printing press was in the 15th century. So. Okay, so then, yeah, then, yeah. But, you know, so you had authors, you had thespians, mm -hmm. and you had artists, mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. musicians too. Mm -hmm. But now you're competing with corporations monetizing uh, artistic creation. So you could take... Uh, Jack Kirby's and Stan Lee's, you know, uh, Captain America or Hulk, mm -hmm. or you could take S Stan Lee or Ditko's mm -hmm. uh, Spider-Man and you can create multi-billion dollar things. And Spider-Man is definitely more popular than the creators. Mm -hmm. And so the creations become intellectual properties. And so it, it's it's the way that you would have to be compete with that is to become the personality to become the ip yeah and to do that you really have to be somebody who wants to be an actor a, a star mm -hmm. and and i don't know too many artists who you typically want to artists that. want to be behind the scenes they just, they want, just to want to create their art they yeah. don't want to perform yeah jennifer says i was working in my studio yesterday and my six-year-old wanted to draw so i set up a station for her and we drew our on our separate projects together i remember doing that with my mom when i was little oh that's great oh, i love that i love that i love that i love that have you ever been to mississippi if you do go i suggest laurel i live there and there's an amazing art museum in many parts of town that look amazing and would be cool for you to draw uh we have not mm -mm. it's it's never been we've been through um alabama Alabama mm -hmm. on our way down to the beach. Mm -hmm. uh, we've mm -hmm. been to, uh, mm -hmm. we've driven through Arkansas. Yeah. But we've not been to Mississippi. Mm -mm. Um, thank you, Liv. I did check my thyroid and it was not my thyroid. So I have recently been to the doctor for a full blood panel and I am completely healthy, much to Scott's chagrin. Um, so I'm not going to die anytime soon close. for the insurance money. Yeah, yeah, I know. Sorry, honey. Um, but yes, but thank you for, for caring. I really appreciate it. I, I had a feeling it was this other nail polish that I had tried, um, which in case you're curious was the orally stuff. And uh, that stuff just didn't work for me personally. So, but Olive in June is great. And, and Ellen says, what is it with Donna and Olives? Archer and Olive, Olive in June, what's next? Olive Garden. Olive Garden, <laughs> Olive Oil. This is all true, all true things. And here's the irony of it. I don't really like olives. And unfortunately for me, I'll live forever. <laughs> <sighs> Lord Rupert says, I'm going. I came here for art, not peeling nails. Oh, <laughs> but you come for the art. Take you, me with you. You come for the art. You get Take the peeling me nails. With you. There you go. Have you read The Four Winds? I have not. What sketchbooks would you recommend for alcohol markers? Oh, be, oh, hoo hoo ones. Oh, hoo hoo. Um, have you tried Indian food? Yes. No. Um, Blick says vellum Bristol is splendid for colored pencil. Hot press watercolor people and paper and Stonehenge are also a great choice for larger works. Strathmore Museum Board is great. Thank you. Is Museum Board the same thing as Aqua Board? No, I think museum board is, is like an illustration stuff that I used to use back in the day. Okay. Um, is it true you wrote the story of Animal Crackers? I did. I wrote uh, the original graphic novel, and then I wrote the screenplay, and I directed the film. Um, how do you cope with having a big mistake on a piece you took so much time to make? Um. I usually try to find a way to uh, fix it. So, you know, I, I've, I've kind of trained myself to usually get myself out of most jams. 
and fix something. <clears throat> it usually your, in the painting stage. Your clock is off by two minutes. Not according to... I don't know. Haley Cheesecake says, I went to Target yesterday and was looking at the same nail strengthener. I decided not to buy it, though. I highly recommend it. It's very good. Um, I used to draw more often. My primary art form is aquascaping now. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what that is either. Nightshade Reaper, what is that? How often do you use the undo button? LOL. <laughs> uh, I wish I could use it more often. Hadley says, I think Scott only hates your story because they're so interesting and astonishing. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's it. Plus, he has to listen to me all day, every day. So uh, these lives are just a bonus. Um, have I tried boba tea once, but never again? Like, literally easy. Come for the art, stay for the peeling nails. <laughs> so funny um you're so funny um let's see um how do you ask questions well you just type them in the, ch in the chat you just did um yeah you just did ask a question um have you watched the hobbit movies uh yeah yeah um i no. i watched the original rankin bass ones uh Mm -hmm. Back in the what was it the seventies or the eighties? Seventies, I think. And um, and then I watched the live action ones. I still like the book better. Aw, Ellen loves me. She says the real ones came for the art and stayed for the Donna. Love you, Ellen. One Up Girl says, "Will they there be any more Octavia pictures in the future?" I don't know. Oh come on, commit to Octavia. We'll see what we're up to when October comes. Come on. Commit. He won't even commit to what time he's going to go to bed or get out of bed in the morning. Trust me. Much to say the least what he's going to draw from day to day. Um, I'm trying to learn more coloring. What brand of color pencils do you recommend for a beginner? Uh, the cheapest ones you can get. You know, something like, uh, was it Art Artex or Art Beak? Um, eesh. I think those were Art Beak. Weren't they Art Beak? I, I don't remember. I but, can't remember either. Um, uh, you know, get cheap ones, kind of just fool around with it. But if you're going for cheap, colored pencils is not the way to go because colored pencils are just in general expensive. Um, I, I would... I would go with watercolors because you can cover you can get more out of it but if you really want it i would maybe go with markers first really you think markers i don't know i mean i love colored pencils they're just yes. they're very expensive well the i think they were artex actually i think they were artex um no i think they were art peak you think yeah i don't know um let's see <clears throat> let's see let's see oh Gwendolyn Art says I have to well actually Donna printing press have existed since the 10th century it only existed in Europe since the 16th century well thank you Gwendolyn I stand corrected I always thought the first printing press was in like 1460 1450 where was like. where was one that old yeah where did it exist in the 10th century because that would have been 900 so where did it exist in the 10th century? Was it in um, Asia somewhere? Are there going to be any more movies from you? We hope so. Mm -hmm. um, Cookie Cat loves the gothic aesthetic of the drawing. You, I don't get to do gothic very often. It's not really my favorite aesthetic, but... It is definitely fun to draw. China. Gwendolyn says China. Interesting. My eyes are drawn to the shadows of the fabric. I love your skill, Scott. That was Santa. Oh, thank you, Santa. What do you like more, markers or pencils? Pencils. Mm -hmm. Which paper is used for watercolor? 
Uh, I like uh, watercolor paper, but mm -hmm. I like particularly cold press. Um, will you try the Crayola skin markers on very thin paper that didn't leak through? We're going to probably go with no on that one because yeah. all the Crayola stuff has been boxed up and is being donated to people who will use it. Who is Octavia? Oh, uh, if you look, uh, look under my playlist section and mm -hmm. look for October, um, you'll see. Uh, she was an octopus I did in October. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, Scott, have you ever had that feeling that you should add a detail in your art and you immediately regret it? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> like, I'm looking at mm -hmm. this line right here. Can you guys see this line? Yeah. And I'm wondering where it came from, because, like, that doesn't look, it doesn't look right. I tried to erase it. I'm like, is it a pencil line? But it's, it's there. And, and I'm going, I, it doesn't look like a line I would make. Like, this line should stop there, and then this line just kind of goes. I don't know where that line came from. So, yeah, I mean, and, and if I was to go and like put some gouache over it or something, it's going to not look right. So I'm kind of stuck with it. I can always wait till the whole painting is finished and then try to match the color with gouache. But um, <clears throat> if I was to go over it with any medium, when I come over it with the watercolor, you're going to see the difference and how it reacts compared to the paper. Okay, Blick says museum board is 100% cotton for matting and presenting artwork. Cotton all the way through, unlike common mat board. One ply is like light cardstock, four ply is heavy like illustration board. Mm. Oh, thank you, Blick. I always learn so much when you're here. I used to love illustration board for my illustrations. Mm-hmm. You did indeed. I remember buying illustration board with you and having to try to fit that in the car. I know Scott recommends the Ohuhu paper, but what alcohol markers would you recommend? I like the, um, was it, was it Art Beak? Mm -hmm. Art Beak, um, because they were cheap. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, uh, again, the Ohuhus are great. Uh, Copics are fine, but all things being equal, like like if you can't tell the difference, I would pick the cheapest one every time, and uh, and so they were cheap. We are going to be trying uh, um, some Blick brands mm -hmm. in the next week. We are indeed, and by we, I don't mean me. Um, let's see. Are you going to do Inktober? I usually do something like that around, mm -hmm. you know, uh, that time. Yeah, but last year it was Octavia for October because oh, she was right. an octopus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you going to do a full month of October? I don't. I don't know. I mean, it really. A lot of that really just depends on my schedule mm -hmm. and what I'm able to do. Um, I do not do art. Well, I don't know. I guess now I do do art. I just showed some stuff in an art journal that I just started. And she said doo-doo. Mm -hmm, I do. Yes, I did. How do you get better at anatomy, specifically arms and legs? I can never figure it out, especially because my art is more stylized. Um, there is a, a couple books that I recommend. Um, so if you look up, I think there's a video about anatomy or proportions or dynamic, you know, something like that. And I would recommend that because I am not great at teaching that. Actually, I'm not great at teaching, but um, I would look at that. That's where I go for my reference. Do you have any tips for drawing skulls? The one on the bookshelf looks absolutely amazing. I just looked at a photo. Um, it, it's, it's just... Uh, do you remember when I did the draw everything every day videos? It's because I draw everything every day because I am, I've never drawn this before. I've never drawn that skull. You know, I've never drawn a snake in a jar before. I've never drawn, I just can look at a photo and copy it. Mm -hmm. And that's really, I think, um, a lot of people say, 
I want to learn how to draw X and I, I don't, I don't do that. Like when, when we went to, um, went to Venice, I've never driven, I've never drawn a fruit boat before or a gelato stand before or a dog mm -hmm. with a ball in his mouth before or Stanley Tucci glasses. Everything I'm drawing, I'm drawing for the first time. I didn't need to take art hack lessons to learn to do that. I, I've, you know, had how many years of learning to draw what I see. Now, if I was to draw this uh, lion 10 more times, by the 10th time, I'd be better at it. This is a first attempt at it. But I, I didn't need to go and look up a video on how to draw a lion to draw the line because it wasn't doing out of my head. I was drawing what I was seeing. And that's that's what I'm trying to um, at least get you guys to, to understand is drawing is about observing. It's about seeing the world around you. And and that is the, is the best practice you can do. Mm -hmm. Take a journal, sketch everything you see, mm -hmm. get used to drawing you know, like I, I'd never drawn a cowboy boot before. I'd never drawn a teapot before. I had never drawn a salt shaker before or crayon. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. these are things that, you know, the, is, is a first for me. Every time you see me draw something, there's usually something that's a first for me. Um, and I get bored if I'm, if I'm drawing something that I've drawn a lot of. Mm -hmm. So I like to draw stuff that is new to me. Um, I've never drawn, uh, you know, scrolls before, uh, or a gothic bookshelf. So this is really interesting. It's really fun, but don't don't uh, don't don't be concerned with finding how to draw something. Just get good at drawing everything. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that sounds probably overwhelming. It's mm -hmm. not. Just. Get good at drawing what you see. There is a video on Art Block in the Art Hacks playlist. What's your favorite song? Future Love Paradise by Seal. Um, so here's the thing. Here's a question. Um, this person asks, is computer science more superior to, than art? Computer science? Mm -hmm more superior than art um yeah computer science is more superior in art in computer science so if you're judging it based on computer science e things then yes art is more is superior to computer science when it comes to art um liquids are more superior to solids when it comes to drinking um you know, cars are more superior to uh, well, gummy bears when it comes to driving. But here's, <laughs> They're just two completely different things. But Yeah, but here's the question. The question that I would pose back to you is, why does something have to be more superior to something else? I, I don't know if you're asking like you're, you're, you're looking at what you want to study. Um, and I would say if you're looking at what you want to study, then... Um, I would say that uh, if you're talking about superiority as far as who's going to make more money, yeah, computer science, definitely. Uh, if, if that's the case, then yeah, I would do that. Yeah, but my my question is, is I mean, there's there's a superior is not something that I would, like that's not a question I would ask. I would say if you when you're comparing something to something else, you know, what do you think is, it would make more money or what do you think is easier to get an education in or what do you think leads to a different kind of career or, you know, but, but every answer that you're going to get for that is going to depend on the person that you are. So every person will have a different answer to that question. Yeah. Um, yes. The Ohuhu markers are on Amazon. You can find them there. They also on, are on their website. Blick, does Blick carry them or? I don't know. Blick, do you guys carry the Ohuhu markers? I don't know. 
Um, do you ever get the urge to draw, but you can't? This is happening to me. I want to paint again because I messed up, but I can't. Um, does that happen to you? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's there's just days where nothing is nothing is working. You know, it's it's it happens. It happens. Uh, sometimes you have to just give yourself a break, mm -hmm. and sometimes you have to push through it. Mm -hmm. So you you have to decide what your body needs, what your mind needs. Mm -hmm. Why are hands weird exactly? Oh gosh. <laughs> hands are just weird because hands are weird. They're hard to draw. Mm -hmm. Scott has done Spider-Man in the past. Yeah, I was the artist on Spider-Man. Do you live in the Hobbit hole? I do. Well, it's my it's my office. It, yeah, it's my office. It mm -hmm. was our basement. Mm hmm. <laughs> Do you sleep in the Hobbit hole? He does not sleep no. in the Hobbit hole. Well, if he gets in a lot of trouble, he might have to sleep in the Hobbit hole. Um. Let's see. Will you do more digital art? I think so. I don't know when, but I think I might. I love the bookshelf. Where is the map that's behind um, the woman? Oh, uh, it's made up. Mm -hmm. Just made it up. What pen are you using right now? I'm using a Micron pen. And um, a lot of that is so that I, I wanted to do the entire background in this thickness. So that way she she popped a little more, mm -hmm. but for some reason I was I, I I just grabbed the wrong I grabbed the the zebra brush pen when I started, and and it came out really dark and I was like darn it, and once it's down I can't really do much about it, so I'm I'm gonna come back in and add a little bit of uh, heavier thick thick lines mm -hmm. throughout just to make it feel a little bit more consistent. Mm -hmm. And then I'll have the, the shadow kind of going across uh, most of this. So this is the only part that's going to be in light mm -hmm. right here. And then um, which which I think will draw your eye down to this little wisp of her her dress and I'm popping up, which I like. Um, hello, Scott and Donna. I'm a youth from India. Your words and art really inspire me. I was wondering how how I could improve my brushwork and water control. Would really love your help. Oh, well, hi, it's very nice to meet you. Um, your brushwork and watercolor work? Mm -hmm. Um, I, I, I really, and I, I, I don't consider myself an expert in this. So, um, for me, it, it, everything I've learned has been just trial and error. It's been teaching myself. Mm -hmm. So I don't really have any particular tips on this because I'm not really trained in it. Uh, maybe Blick or somebody might have a, a, a better answer, but it's not really... I don't know. Sorry. Um... <clears throat> Let's see. Um, I'm stuck on the fence about doing art as a job. I feel like if I'm forced to do it, I won't enjoy it much anymore. It, it does make it harder. Um, I have a hard time making art every day. I, 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 making art every day isn't hard. It's making... Um, art for the mm -hmm. masses every day. Mm -hmm. It's it's mm -hmm. like I can't just say, hey, I think I want to do this or hey, I think I want to do that without being able to come up with a story to sell it mm -hmm. as a video, mm -hmm. you know. Um, has to have a hook. Has to have a hook. Mm -hmm. and, and so everything I do becomes that. When I was working in video games, I was making, okay, you're working on a football game. Or now you're working on a shooter. Now you're doing bass fishing. Now you're doing, and you don't get to decide what you're doing. You have assignments. Mm -hmm. And so in this way, creatively, 
I have a lot of freedom, freedom, mm -hmm. but I'm also responsible for coming up with what I'm going to do and how I'm going to sell it. And, and yeah. so, yeah, it's if you can make art just for you, that's the best. That's the best thing <clears throat> in the world. Um, let's talk about the the giveaway and where we can ship and where we can't ship really quick. Um, I know you would love for us to be able to ship to India. Um, we shipped so many free art pieces to India when we did the giveaway for hitting 1 million and they all came back. Um, the, and then they charge me. It costs us hundreds of dollars. Yeah. To... They charge me more money when it comes back because they had to reroute everything and it has to come back and everything else. Um, for some reason, your country is very difficult to ship to and it is not just us. Um, Lots of companies, big companies have problems shipping to India. So um, we would love to be able to ship. I know there's a lot of you there who need art supplies. Um, we just haven't found a way to be able to ship there yet that um, allows it to actually make it to you. And that's the problem. So um, if you know a way that um, you would like to avail us of, we would be more than happy to do that. Um, you know, what would probably be best hmm. would be to have a single company or entity that could take it and then distribute it to other people, you know, so. That's what a lot of companies are trying to do now. And a lot of companies, I guess Amazon just opened up in India. So a lot of companies are trying to funnel their things through Amazon in India. Um, but even that is difficult. Um, Grabby was one of those companies that was trying to partner with Amazon in India to sell their stuff in India. And they weren't able to do it? They're still working on it. It's just, it's so difficult to ship things yeah. to India. It's like shipping stuff to Brazil. Brazil's another country that we have had so many problems shipping to. And I just, I don't know why. You know, we would love to be able to ship everywhere to everybody and get everything in everybody's hands but dealing with the postal service uh, in different countries is completely out of our control i wish yeah. it wasn't it's like it when we ship something to australia and it costs like 50 dollars, and it's we feel horrible but that's just what that's what we're being charged what's being, to yeah, and, yeah and so we we you know we feel horrible but this is just what it cost Okay, just for the record, it is 10.30. Okay. Not two minutes early, uh, late. Um, Cece says, I hardly get to join these lives, but I love that you and Donna do them together. You both complement each other so well, and I really enjoy listening to you both. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. Thank you. Especially after that last guy said to, you know, he was going to leave because I was talking about nail polish. I feel better now. Thank you. Right, yes, we will ship to North Carolina. You should make her hair blue or silver. All right. Um, you might not read this, but I love you guys. That was Lisa. Oh, we love you too. Do you get impatient? I do. Boy, you haven't been around for a lot of lives. <laughs> he gets impatient all the time. That's why I use a blow dryer. I don't want to wait for the blow mm -hmm. for the paint to dry. Yes, Scotland is a, is uh, we can ship to Scotland. Can you make a short about how to draw a car? Um, I did kind of because in the uh, draw everything every day, mm -hmm. we drew a car and I did it, you know, so you can watch the whole thing in real time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How did you manage to draw such a detailed background without getting impatient or frustrated? I am amazed. Oh, um, I, I've, I've been doing, I've been working on this one. This is something I haven't had a chance to do in years is to work on something bigger. Mm -hmm. uh, so the bigger that you want to work on. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. w what I'm doing is I started this on Friday. Friday, I kind of drew everything out. And then Saturday, um, I drew her. And then Sunday, I think I did this one. And then, I don't know, Monday or Tuesday, I did the top one. And then yesterday, I did this one. Mm -hmm. And then today, I did this one. So I'm breaking it up into little... And, 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 and I did this all in one sitting, this whole thing during the live. I would not do that normally. I would break it up into four different. So this, 
I maybe did this and then I went upstairs and played some Zelda. And then I did this and then I went and got some lunch. And then I did this and then I maybe had dinner. And then I did this and then I went and played some more Zelda. You know, so I, I, I'm not doing it all in one sitting like I did today. And that's how I work around my impatience. That's how I work around, um, yeah, that, that, that inability to sit and... I, I, I really don't have the ability to hyper-focus. Uh, for me, I am just... My mind is all over the place and I get bored. And um, But I can, I can kind of get lost in it for maybe 20 minutes. And so 20 minutes is going to have to do. Are you going to do a meet and greet anytime soon? I, I could see that happening one day. I think it would just depend on where and when like I, we were even talking about maybe doing something at the zoo um but mm -hmm. I, I, it's it's i'm i'm not the best person to to do those things because it's really it's a lot of communication it's very draining it's very overwhelming uh, and mm -hmm. so uh, I, I, I will see what I can do. Yeah, it's hard for him. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't. Do I used the... to do comic conventions, and... and that was hard. Yeah, it was. You know, and and, and this was pre being diagnosed um, mm -hmm. as autistic, but mm -hmm. it was, you know, it, it was very overwhelming and I would have to take breaks mm -hmm. and go up into the hotel room and, and go and relax or, or, or something. And, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, I, I, I do want to meet a lot of you. I just don't know exactly how the best way, to what do the that best. Is. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. So it's 1030 and I know you need to eat. So we're going to shut this off and go. And you're going to put down your pen. I'm done. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we are going to say thank you for being with us yes, today. Yes, thank you We all. will be live on Friday. Whether or not Scott will be painting this on Friday, <clears throat> I we don't, don't know. know. I don't know. He, but... Maybe he will, maybe he won't. We don't know. But we will show you. Um, if he does decide to paint on Friday, you'll get to see that. If he decides to paint it at another time. Yeah, just check out the community page. Yeah. So if you go to my YouTube channel and yeah. you go, here, I will show you. It looks like this. Mm -hmm. You go YouTube. You go to my channel, mm -hmm. and you just scroll over to community, mm -hmm. and um, you can see different posts. And I will mm -hmm. post the finished, mm -hmm. but we'll probably put put a link to the high res version yes. on the website. Yes. But just so you know, there is. It won't fit on the. I don't think it'll fit on the community page. It'll fit on the website. Yeah. When it's done. When he's done and ready to go, you'll There's be able to meat. find it on the community page and on the website. And please don't forget the art supply giveaway. I am sorry, very sorry for those of you in India that we can't ship over there. Um, it's going to cost a small fortune to ship all these anyway, and we but we want you guys to have the Yeah, supplies. we don't mind paying for shipping. We just can't pay for it and I, then have it come back. Yeah, exactly. And, and not have it go to where it needs to go. So um, I will say this. If anybody in India knows of a way that a foolproof way to get something out there. Go to the website and message me. Know. Yeah. Email us. We are happy to take all suggestions on how to get it to everybody. Um, we just need a foolproof way to get it there. Bethany says I will get it on the website when it's finished. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everybody. We, love you all. we Thank will you for see you Friday. Go make some good art. If I can make art in an art journal and paste stuff in, you guys can make art. All right. Have a great one, you guys. We love you all.